Hello and welcome, my name is Sarah and today we are starting something new on the channel. We are going to create a mod from absolutely nothing. So for today's tutorial we're gonna go and create two trades. I want to create a lucky and a unlucky trade. So it's very like opposite trades and these trades will be available in the reward store so you will have to assign these trades to your sims every time. But I am thinking about assigning these trades automatically to your sims once they are created. So also new townies and everyone will have these trades. Um, but we are starting easy and simple with this um, mod tutorial series and we'll just add them to the reward store. So in front of me I have the Sims 4 Studio open. I have created created two package files as you can see just a little reminder if you don't remember how you create a new empty package file it's going into tools and then say create empty package file so this will be our main file and then this will be our strings file the strings file is where i put all the text and all icons that i'm using i always do this this is just how it works but you can have everything in one package file if you prefer so in my core file i'm gonna go into tools and then say extract tuning and then I'm gonna type in one of the reward traits. So I've typed in Jim Red. I'm gonna add both of these into my current package file. So now both of the tuning files are added into my package file and we have a reward tuning and a trade tuning. So the trade tuning is the trade itself. So what pops up in your Sims trade panel and then the reward part is what pops up in the reward store. So first things first, I'm going into data. I'm going to click hash generator. So when hash generator is open, you just type in the text that you want to name this part and then you just copy that and paste it here in name and also make sure to paste it over here. You can select all by um, holding control down. And then I have to make sure that I'm also copying this over here and paste it into instance. I go one down and also paste it over there. So um, the reward tuning and sim data always needs to be connected. So everything needs to be connected. And what I'm doing right now is making sure that I'm not overriding the gym red trait from the Sims 4. Um, so then I go into tuning idea, copy that and paste it over here where it says S. Um, and then you have those little numbers and you just place them over there. So now I'm going to do the same with this. So right now these are unique and by themselves because we changed the instance ID and um, automatically it changes the tuning ID. So that's very important to do every time when you add a file into your package file so you're not overriding the game file. So, and if you want to overwrite something then you just make sure to leave the um, tuning ID and instant ID alone and everything else we just leave it as it is because everything else is already correct and now I'm going to go in here and for this one I'm going to go and say string lookup just going to go and grab the gym red numbers um, so just get rid of the zero and the x I'm going to grab that and say add to current package and just get rid of that and I'm gonna go and get rid of all the other languages I'm gonna add that at the end um, but because my game is in English I'm just gonna go and leave it in English so make sure you leave the flag of the country your game is in then we're gonna go into edit items and I grab back the hash generator so this is the same text as we had over here and I'm gonna go and grab the FN432, change that to here, and then change the value to the text that I want. So I'm gonna go and change that to lucky, copying the key, say save, and change that after the 0x, and then change that to lucky. Then copying name, going into the sim data and change that name to those numbers as well. And now I'm going to go and do that for the rest of the text. So the reward description, this one and the reward unavailable to tip this one. So one other thing I want to say is to make sure to give it a unique name every time. So I always just <laughs> place numbers behind it if it's still in the same same file um, and then just go and add and then paste those here and 
over there. So this was the reward description, reward description and paste this there. So I'm leaving the reward unavailable tooltip um, and it says this reward is not available to your sim or it is already owned by your sim. So I'm leaving this section as it is. Then I'm also going to go and leave this reward special buff over here. And then for the specific reward um, trade is where we're going to go into the trade we created um, where we already changed the numbers and then we take the tuning ID and going back and then paste the tuning ID over here and then we're also going to take the name and paste it like that. So and then we see this test over here and the sim info part doesn't say anything. I'm just going to go and delete it, but you can, for example, say um, only adults are allowed to have this trade from the reward store or only elder sims can have this. So you can just go and change it to this. So now only sims that are elders are allowed to get this trade. Um, but I'm just going to go and remove the whole thing. However, I am going to go and leave this trade and a blacklist trades. Right now it only says the humanoid uh, robots. So robots is not allowed to have this trade. I'm going to copy and paste it to here. And then I'm going to change this to, to the unlucky trade that we haven't created yet. But I know we are going to create. I'm going to go in here and say decimal. So right now it says that anyone with the unlucky trade cannot have the lucky trade. Um, so we'll be doing the same for the unlucky trade. Okay, so now I've added the unlucky trade as well. Um, the reward unlucky and, and the trade unlucky. And then I made sure to go into the trade blacklist to add the trade unlucky. And then for the unlucky, we have the trade lucky that still says unlucky. Let me change it to lucky and then double check that it indeed starts with those numbers. Yes, it does. So moving over to here, added two images right here. We're going to go and have a look at how to change those. So like I said, the images I'll put here. I went into tool, then I went into the game file cruiser. Then I go to the DST image. I always click on the files over here and then I just like edit one random one, doesn't matter which one you're choosing. Um, and then for the names, what I do is the um, same text that I have over here. And then I just add pick behind it for picture. And then I'm taking this, these numbers as well, make sure that it's selected at the hex and then change those over here. So this is the lucky one and this will be the unlucky one. Um, and then I went into here and change these last numbers. So you're just going to go and click on your image, take that copy and then paste. I like to remove this whole P section. Um, so yeah, that's what I like to do. And then I make sure to also add those numbers here and that goes the same for the unlucky so you take the icon that's going to be the unlucky icon copy that paste over here and then paste as well here and because these are going to be the same icons that will be on the trade um just make sure that you also like go into this icon section and change those last numbers and then for these in the sim data as well what is these and yeah, so that's how you change the icons. And now I'm going to go and open Canva. So here I have Canva open. The reason I'm using Canva and not any other icon that's from in-game is because I don't know any icon from in-game that I want to use. So I'm using Canva. Drag it in here. So the thing is, this square file is like 128 by 128, I think it is. Yeah, the same as this one. So 128 by 128 pixels. Um, you can also do 64 by 64. I know that one works as well. So now what I want to do is go click edit photo. So I'm going to go and use the magic eraser. I'm going to go back and make this 
bigger as big as I think I want it. So I'm gonna go save, download, make sure the background is transparent. Um, I'm only gonna use that one and then say download. And now I'm gonna do the same for the unlucky. So once Canva is closed, I'm gonna click on the image and then click import over here. And I'm gonna choose the icon that I wanted to use. So you can use this for any icon and import any icon like this in game. Um, but if you already know what kind of icon you want to use and it's already in game, you can just um, find that in the game file cruiser. You can search per um, expect your pack or game pack or you can just import anything else that you like. So now the images are like this. So we have the um, lucky trait and then the unlucky trait. And then we're just going to make sure that we did change those icons to the correct one for here. So, um, let's see, lucky ends with the A4, what is this one? And then unlucky ends with C5, what is this one? So yeah, so now the whole reward trade area is done and getting into the traits now is that we have the trade here. Um, we gotta make sure it's of course a gameplay. So I'm gonna go and open the text over here and then I'm just gonna go and copy those numbers because I want this one to be the lucky one again taking all of that and paste that over here as well and then taking the display name going into the sim data and change the display name out here and then this is the same trait description so I'm just gonna take all of that, copy that one as well and find trade description out here. And then we have the trade region description. So that's like the description it's between the two markers, but I'm gonna go and leave it like that because it is from the rewards store. And I'm gonna go and do the same for the unlucky one. So now we are done with this. We have created our trade and our reward trade. However, we still need to get this reward trade into the reward store because right now it's not. Uh, so we gotta inject this into the reward store. And by doing that is using the XML injector. Um, but first things first, we're gonna go and create a snippet for that. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm just gonna go and call it XOSCR reward trade snippet and then copy those last numbers. Click on edge over here and find snippet in here. Snippet tuning, change the instance to those numbers over here and say, okay, now this one is still fully blank. So now I opened the XML injector um, file, documentation, docu documentation file for mothers. Um, and I'm just gonna go and copy this first section over here and then paste it out here. Make sure to close it. I'm gonna go into the data and take this. I'm gonna make sure again that it's correct and paste that out here. So that's all you have to do to make sure that it is in the XML injector. Now to add them to the reward store, you will need to add this whole section over here. Um, so we have add satisfaction to reward to store rewards <laughs> and then open it and then go with uh, new items. So this means just new items will be added. And um, here you just add in key, you add the, tra the reward trade, so this area. And then it would say award type is a trade and then the cost with how many satisfaction points you want it to cost. Um, for me, I'm just gonna go and leave it at zero. But yeah, this is just how you edit. So now we're just gonna go save that, save this and then edit into your mods folder and let's load the game and see if they're there. So here we are in game. Um, let's turn reshade off for a second and go into the reward store. Honestly, I always forget how to get there. <laughs> Um, so here we have the reward store and uh, there we go. We have the lucky and unlucky trade now both showing into the reward store and both for zero points. I am sorry, my baby's getting fuzzy in the background. So I'm trying to wrap this up really quickly. Um, but yeah, we can just add them over here. And now as you can see, this one is also uh, not available anymore. 
and I just noticed that uh, wait let's just wait a second and it says lucky over here great with the text indeed that we added um, I noticed that we can edit again <laughs> Let's see, does it come double? It doesn't come double, but how we can ch um, fix that is when we go into here to also blacklist the lucky traits. In there, and then do the same for the unlucky save and then load it up back into game and you can have a look at it again but that is basically how you add um, trades to the reward store and then for the next episode i think we're gonna go and dive into interactions um so yeah let me know in the comments down below if you have like fun ideas for this whole new mod tutorial series or if you have any questions um, if things were unclear please let me know so i'll see you in the next episode don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel see you next time bye